Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we're going to be doing a side quest for Preston Garvey. But before we do, let's go ahead and do a few things here in Sanctuary. First things first, we're going to level up our armor. We're going to go into crafting and then we're going to go to our leather chest piece. We're going to craft the gridded leather. That's going to boost our energy damage absorption along with our ballistic absorption. Let's see. We can do deep pockets. We may or may not ha have enough leather to upgrade all of our stuff. We'll just have to see. Do some pocketed. We had barely enough. You can customize your pit boy as well. If you have any of the, um, what's it called? Creation club assets bought. It's how you customize your pit boy. We're going to ring that bell. That bell will call everybody here in sanctuary over. I've done a little bit of building. That's going to be my general store. That's going to be my clothing. That's going to be my guns and ammo. And I think that's going to be my armor. My bar is going to be down there. Let's talk to Mama Murphy. You're tied to this place, kid. Your energy. I used to live here. A long time ago. Ah, but the distant past ain't so distant for you. I saw you leave that icebox. This whole world is like some bad dream you can't wake up from, isn't it? The site can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. What's jet? It's a little inhaler that packs a big kick. They say it makes you move faster, but at my age, it's more of a quick rush. The chems fuel the site, so it's not always going to be jet I'm asking for. But that's what's on the menu this time. Here. Already have some. Like a little kick yourself, huh? This'll do. Now, let me ride the high to where the site wants to take me. Diamond City holds answers, but they're locked tight. You ask them what they know, but people's hearts are chained up with fear and suspicion. But you find it. You find that heart that's going to lead you to your boy. Oh, it's, it's bright. So bright against the dark alleys it walks. That's, that's what you need to do, kid. Follow the signs to the bright heart. Phew, wow. That took more out of me than usual. I'm gonna need to rest now, kid. We'll try to find Codsworth now. He should be roaming around here somewhere. There he is. Mr. Wayne, welcome back, sir. I do hope you were able to find some assistance in Concord. You could say that. I made a few new friends. Can't have enough of those these days. I realize that I'm no Mr. Gutsy, but if needed, I'd be honored to accompany you throughout the Commonwealth. Just say the word. 
Yes, of course. Right behind you, sir. Not to worry there, pup. Your martyr is in good hands. We're going to leave dog meat at sanctuary. Let's go into our pit boy. We're going to go over to data. Okay, we are tracking the quest I want to. The only other quest we have is Jewel of the Commonwealth, which is going to take us to Diamond City. All of the other stuff is just the new DLC, quote unquote DLC, that you get for the PS5 and Xbox Series upgrade. Hey. Oh, I thought he wanted to talk for a second. I wonder what Diamond City would be like. If the name has anything to do with it. It must be quite nice. We might be able to find Mama Murphy again. She might want us to build her a chair. I'm going to check real quick. If not, in the next video, we will build Mama Murphy a chair. Or I shouldn't say next video, but whenever we come back to Sanctuary, we'll build Mama Murphy a chair. Where did she go? She just disappeared on us. Hopefully everybody is liking Another what I've done with Sanctuary company. so far. Got a favor to ask you, kid. I know it's silly, but I need a chair. Something with a nicer fit for these old bones. Can you do that for me? Sure. Be glad to help. Thank you. Let's go ahead and build Mama Murphy a chair. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to build her chair right over here. So let's hold down the middle pad for you PlayStation users. That'll bring us into the build menu. And where it says special, that's where it's going to send us to be able to build her chair. Hey. Let me get in my chair and we can talk. Sorry. Godsworth, you gotta get out of the way, bud. Lady, you gotta move your katukas in there. Okay, I'm not going to wait for Mama Murphy to get into her chair, but we got it built, so that helps. The AI in Fallout nice games is just expenses. not always I ideal. I need right now. I think Preston may want to chat, By the way, if you want to get rid of your rads, you can always use some rad away. See the red bar disappears. Let's go ahead and start making our way to Ten Pines Bluff. I haven't done anything over here. No building over here. I'm Just slowly been building over time. there. I don't hey. want to level up too fast. Matter of fact, speaking of levels, I did get three. I did get three levels. I put one into Gunslinger, and then I put two into Sneak. Just wanted to show everybody that real quick. Sorry I did not level up on recording. I'll make sure to do that for now on. We're going to veer off over here. We're going to follow the river along Sanctuary there. Should be a mongrel dog over here. Just over here by the water. I know we can. Yes, we can, Codsworth. Just gonna keep strolling alongside the river. Every now and then you can get some mute fruit in there. 
potato plant is good to have. Right over here, it's going to get a little loud. But we're going to flip this circuit breaker open and turn that off. And then right here, we can open this up for three cap stashes. Grab some more bobby pins. Well, he certainly doesn't need that anymore. We got some raiders over here we're going to take out. I'm just getting started. You kill him? Nice, good job. Codsworth is doing good so far. Hopefully he doesn't get in the way too much. Thought there was a dog in another raider over here, but I guess not. We can see a dilapidated house right over here. If we go over by the chimney, we have a cap stash and a 10 millimeter pipe pistol. And then we can go around this rock face here. We're heading over to the Olivia satellite array, but we're gonna hit a few spots before we get over there. Keep following the rock face here. It's going to lead us up to a little camp that we can loot right here. Now, as soon as we loot inside here, we're going to get ambushed by a raider and some, well, not and some dogs, but a raider and a dog. This should be fun. Nothing like a little dust up to get the oil flowing. Talks away. Oh, that's that. Okay, over here we have a junkyard we're going to be heading over to. Or the robotics disposal grounds, whatever you want to call it. Still a junkyard. Right here, we're going to turn this robot on in just a moment. But if anybody loves the fat man, here's your first fat man. You can shoot mini nukes out of it. And it does come in handy. We're going to come in here. We'll turn on our light. We're going to pick up the hot rodder magazine. Yes. Grab this stim pack and go inside the terminal. We're going to play the tape. And then we're going to activate the sentry bot. If you want to eject the hollow tape, you can doesn't really have a use other than just turning on this sentry bot. Right down there you can get a bit of power armor if you want. There may be some loot in that downed vertebrate. Over here, there's some bloat flies. Be very careful. But we're going to be heading to the Olivia satellite array. That is a mouthful. Got another bloat fly gland, just in case. Anybody missed getting one? Oh. 
shouldn't take long. It's one thing about the pipe pistol, it doesn't shoot very far. You'll have better aim with the 10 millimeter pistol. It's just we want to conserve some ammunition. That way when we want to use it, we can. Grab some more road leathers. A little bit of loot over there if you want to loot. We're just going to come up and around. There's a dog up top here. I'm sorry, puppy. Grab that baseball glove. We need as much leather as we can get. Nothing over there. But I do want to go into Codsworth. And we're going to put some weapons over on him. Because that fat man is really heavy. And then put that stuff over there. Now we can head back down. Go ahead and disarm that laser tripwire along with this Tesla arc. Be really careful, your companions can trigger traps. Very dark here, sir. Watch your step. Let's go ahead and hack this terminal. I'll see everybody after I'm done hacking it. Nice one, sir. We're gonna turn on our light. So after hacking the terminal, you can open up the Intel door. I'm going to want to do that because we're going to get a magazine in here. Right here we can get the U.S. Covert Operations Manual. There we go. That is going to permanently increase our detect on sneak. Like people won't be able to, de to, people won't be able to detect us as easy. Oh my goodness. Words. Grab that mini nuke, even if you don't want it, it sells for quite a few caps. Gotta grab that nuke of cola. What the? You're mine now, rookie. Oh, man. Codsworth getting into fights. Should have brought dog meat. <coughs> Damn it. All right, well, let's go here somewhere. Bug it off. Move, Codsworth. What are you doing, dude? Picking up hostile life signs. We're going to go around here. Be very careful, there is somebody with a minigun down there, and it does hurt, obviously it's a minigun. I've done this hundreds of times, think you'll be any different? Godsworth, you're in the way, homie. Let's heal ourselves. Oh, you got the minigun now? Jesus. Anybody else? Loot on you better be worth it. We're just going to continue looting real quick. 
I'm sure you were. Scared, huh? Let's backtrack over here. Back to the intel room. I'm going to lockpick this safe real fast. Sweet. And then we're going to come down this way. Come on out. I'll make it nice and quick. No sign of him now. Grab this overdue book. We're going to need it later on into the walkthrough. Anytime you see Ooh. an overdue book, grab it. Okay, we can stand up now. Grab some jet. Oh my, the dust. And then grab this locket. This locket is pretty special. It's tied to a side quest, so we're going to need it later. So you want to scoop that up. And then we're going to lockpick this door. Got it. Oh, get away from me. Ooh, that almost exploded in my face. I mean, it did explode in my face, but that's besides the point. Damn rad roaches. That'll leave a dent. Be really careful. There's some irradiated barrels over there. You can actually use some rad X to prevent you taking as much radiation damage. We're just going to come over here, grab the rad away real quick, and then walk away. What's all this? So if you didn't have a high enough hacking skill, you can always get the intel room key. That way you can open it up that way if you want to. There's normally always an alternative way to get into a place. Let's hack the... not hack. Let's lockpick this wooden crate. Nice. You can loot in there if you want. There's nothing really in there. Over here, we can get ourselves a fusion core. Good pickings. I want to find the person that had that minigun. There's a little bit of lore in that terminal if you want to read it. There's the minigun. Now we're going to come up here and we are going to get out of Satellite Array Olivia. Impressive. No general atomic back in the day. Shabby. Grab that jet. Be really careful. There's some mole rats over here, and one of them is got mines on them. I believe he was right here. So that could possibly be a death if you're not careful. Now we're going to head east. Just keep making your way towards the marker. We're going to come down into this junkyard. There's going to be some mongrel dogs down here that we're going to have to take out. 
one of them will be an alpha, at least for the most part. Every time I come through here, there's always an alpha. Hello, doggy. Found you. Man, Codsworth is pretty beefy. What's all this then? There's one more. That was the alpha. Right over here in this safe, we can get some more cap stashes. We can also loot the wooden crate back here. And then just keep heading east out of the junkyard. And we made it to Tim Pines Bluff. Over there is a trader, a wandering trader. You can talk to him if you want. Hey there. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. Take it easy. I'm with the Minutemen. I'm here to help. You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traders. But honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days. After Quincy. Bad business, that. We're rebuilding the Minutemen from the ground up. We're the good guys again. Glad to hear it. No question that things have been worse since the Minutemen fell to pieces. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. Thanks, friend. If you folks are for real this time, it'll be a welcome change for the better. This guy normally paths through Ten Pines Bluff. He may not be here for you guys. So all I'm going to do is talk to him for a second. This is good. Hey, at least it's honest work. Hey there. Got the best armor in these parts. Let's see what you got. Don't cheap out on armor. That's a good way to get yourself killed. So you can get some legendary armor from him. Totally up to you. I'm not going to bother with that kind of stuff. Well, number one, it's super expensive. But number two, you guys may not have this guy here. So I just wanted to show you what he has in his inventory. Make a move and I'll end you, Wastelander. So what we're going to do is we're going to head southwest. You can see that there's a rail yard going that way. We're going to head southwest, mostly west, but southwest in general. Just make sure you're heading towards the W more than the S. You're going to see a billboard right here. See some bloat flies over there chasing a stag. Right over here, there should be. Oh, legendary cockroach. Cool. We'll put that on Mr. later. Wayne, make anything good? Tar berries. It's got to be planted in water. And go up top here for just a tiny bit of platforming. <laughs> we can pick ourselves up a 45 round and then there's usually a gun right over here. We're going to come up this way and then we're going to veer off to the left 
And we have made it to a Thicket Excavations. Kill that stag if you want to. I'm not going to bother with it. They normally have hide on them, so it's a good way to get some leather. We're going to come in this trailer, grab a cap stash, and then we're going to lockpick this Kim box. Yes. And then we're going to lockpick this tool case as well. That's it. And then we're going to be meeting a guy in just a moment. This is his terminal. If you want to read a little bit of lore on him, you can read in that terminal. We'll be talking to him in just a second. We're going to scoop up a taboo tattoos. Excellent. Some Radaway, Stim Pack. And then let's go ahead and talk to this guy. I wonder how the quarry flooded. Hey there. Looking to earn some caps? I could use a hand Maybe if you're all done talking. Right into you know. a spring. I could probably help for a few caps extra. I was going to give you something anyway. 75 caps for your time? I'm not sure if I'm up for it. A couple more caps might change my mind, though. Not going to make this easy, are you? All right. A hundred caps, then. You want this pump fixed, right? Throw in a few more caps and you've got a deal. Okay, 125, but that's it. Any more and I'll just do it myself. What do you need help with? Now, the pump isn't in top shape, but it should at least start. There must be some leaky connections flooding me out. Think you could fix them? The leaks will be underwater. Look for bubbles and you should find them. The joys of having high charisma. So I will point out where all of the valves are. I mean, I'm going to show everybody regardless. But the first valve is going to be over there. You can see the bubbles just a little bit. The second one's going to be over there. And the third one's going to be right over there. So before you hop in this water, take some Radex. That way you don't take as much radiation damage while you're swimming. Because nobody likes that. So here's the first one. We're going to go down. Turn the valve. And go up to the top. And then again, go down. Turn the valve. Go up to the top. The last one is right here. Go down. Turn the valve. And then we can get out of here. So we're only taking two rads of damage per tick. We would have taken a lot more if we didn't take that radex. To let the guy know that we turn the valves. Uh, <clears throat> That's a ticket. You do the honors. Hit that switch on the end of the pump. We're gonna be fighting some mire lurks, so be prepared. I wonder how the quarry is done. Just let the go. Or maybe they Wait, dug right into a spring. What the? Excuse me. Meyer looks. Right I guess I shouldn't be surprised that stirred him up. Anyway, I still got some tinkering to do on this thing. Shouldn't be too hard now, though. Thanks for pitching in. Here's a little something before you clear out. We'll be coming back here eventually. Just not right yet. Just got a level. Let's go ahead and put it into gun nut. We're going to put it into gun nut so we can level up our guns again. 
Oh my god, Codsworth. Hey, Shut up that. about the quarry, dude. Oh, maybe they <laughs> dug right into a spring. Uh, we're gonna take a right. When we come out of here, just follow the road on down. We're going to take a left here. We're going to go by the rail yard. There's going to be a ton of ghouls over here, so get ready. We're going to crouch. Got one of them. Gonna throw a Molotov over that way. Let's make this quick, shall we? Ha! Nothing like a little dust up to get the oil flowing, eh? Picking up hostile life signs. Not this time. I trust everyone's still alive. Come out and face us, scallywag! If you yeah. Okay, cut that out. Talks away. Pish posh. I was just getting warmed up. There's still one more ghoul around here. I just don't know where. Grab that stuff here. Another terminal for anybody that wants to read it. Another ter terminal for anybody that wants to read it. There's more than one more. Jeez. Scared the shit out of me. Nice, we got quite a few 10 millimeter rounds. That is good, good stuff. Right here is a ghoul that's sleeping. Hello! Fancy a bit of fisticuffs? There's a legendary ghoul. That's pretty good. Right in here is our first railroad marker. Down there you can see like a square. That means that it is a stash or a cache or whatever you want to call it. Cache, cache. And you'll see those railroad markers all around or rail signs, whatever they're called. We're going to come over here by this water tower. There's somebody to loot over here. Helena. You can read Helena's instructions if you want. I'm going to turn my Pip-Boy light off. Nothing really in here. There's usually a weapon up top here that you can grab. Depending on if that's something you want to do. And then Dutchman, we can grab his instructions as well. But more importantly, we have a hollow tape we can listen to right in this terminal. Let's go ahead and play the hollow tape. Them off. 
off. Give me a count of ten, then uh, break for the tree line. What? Dutchman, I... There's no time. Good luck, A9. We'll eject the hollow tape, and then we'll get out of the terminal. Now we're going to go back down the train tracks here. We can hop up here for a cap stash, Nuka-Cola, some random stuff in here. I like to crouch and come down on this side. This is kind of an event area underneath the bridge here. So you'll get either dogs or something to fight or NPCs that you got to deal with. Sometimes there'll be mire lurks that are nesting underneath here or sting wings. Over here is the Starlight Drive-In. We're going to discover this. Now we want to be really careful. There is a bottle cap mine just over here. We're going to go up to it and disarm it. Just spam X as you're running over here or else that's going to blow up in your face and most likely kill you. Over there is a tension trap. Hopefully he opened the door. Well, I was hoping to show everybody how to get to that, but... Like I said, companions can trigger traps. So if you want to get where that tension trigger and makeshift bomb doesn't get you, you can go up here, climb to the top, come around, go down the stairs, and then disarm all that. But Codsworth was feeling... Like he had to open up the door, so we unfortunately didn't get to do that. We can go to the top here. We can get some 10 millimeter rounds, random stuff in these. And then I'm going to turn off this radio and hopefully I'm talking loud enough that it's not in the recording because I'm not trying to get copyright claim. This is another workshop. If anybody wants to make this a place for their settlement, I'm only going to be focused on sanctuary. I want to say this now. I'm not going to do any other settlement building. I'm not going to do 10 Pines Bluff. I'm not going to do Starlight Drive-In or anything else. I am going to focus on on sanctuary there's a ton of different settlements you can build up uh it would take me a million years to build all of those up and do the walkthrough so i'm just gonna focus on sanctuary right here we're gonna lock pick this door yes if you interact with the workshop bench it's gonna allow you to make this into a workshop you can also get some cement in here also, side note, over at the rail yard is a good place to pick up some cement as well if you're needing cement. We're going to turn on our pit boy lamp. Be taking pop shots at 
Rats, eh? They're mole rats, sir. They're not taking pot shots at anybody. Come around here. Open this door. We can loot this. Grab a Nuka Cola. Try not to loot too much, but it's really hard for me not to loot when I see it in front of me. Okay, so these stairs, be really careful. We have a mine that I did not disarm in time. My arm. So whenever you're doing that, just... I completely botched it, but just look down and spam X as you go up there. Soon as I seen that I was looking forward too much, I backed up so it wouldn't kill me. I mean, I still took quite a bit of damage, but at least I didn't die. Right over here, you can get the back storage key. So if you can't lockpick that door over there, you can use the key that we just picked up. Now we'll pick up those squirrel bits. Come on, Codsworth. You're like super in the way, bud. That's one thing that I dislike about the companions and Fallout 4 is they get in the way every chance that they get. Over there, a bunch of radiation barrels. Be really, really careful. I mean, you don't have to be really, really careful. It's not like it's going to kill you, but it will give you quite a bit of rad damage. Okay, so I don't want to go any further. We're going to be heading over to the Corvega uh, car plant or assembly plant. And do we have that? We do. Okay, I was just making sure that it was the same quest. But we're going to be heading over there to take care of the raiders. For now, I think what I'm going to do is unequip my weapon. And then I am going to end the video here. And when we come back, we will finish up this side quest for Preston Garvey. And then we'll start moving on to working our way towards Diamond City. So with all that being said, I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video hopefully you all enjoyed it if you did go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you didn't hit the thumbs down button let me know why down in the comments below it only helps the channel also if you enjoy content just like this be sure to subscribe or don't i don't know i'm not your dad do whatever you want and like always everybody have a good morning a good afternoon or a good night whatever time it may be in your part of the world Mr. John Wayne, signing off.